Well, this camera picks up a lot of noise from the truck, but here's me and Ruby on February the 2nd. We're headed out to go visit a new trail, and she's all excited, and that's all I got to say until we get there. Okay, Oak Brook Trail. I guess we'll follow Ruby. I think this is more of a walking trail for people that want to walk for exercise. It's only a little over a half mile circle. Somewhere. Oh, that must be the parking area over there that they were talking about. Just could have parked there instead of on the road. Well, I'll remember that next time. No, you can't go out in there. Come on. <laughs> Oak Brook Nature Trail, open dawn till dusk. No motorized vehicles, all pets must be on a leash. No littering, no fireworks, no removal of wildlife, plants or animals. It's a very easy trail to walk. Just loose gravel. It's only a .6 mile loop. I guess if you wanted to do multiple miles, you could go around it two or three times. There's actually a thing in the middle where you can cut the point six into point three. We've already passed some people that seem to have some kind of physical difficulties so oh my phone's ringing everybody's starting to call cause it's groundhog's day and I'm older of course this is kind of cool they've got these uh, QR codes nailed to the trees I guess so that it tells you a little bit about the the types of stuff that are in this nature habitat. And the warning sign says, leave the critters here. I suspect there's plenty of snakes in here, but it's too cold today. It's not even 50 degrees yet. And there's no bodies of water close by, so you don't have to worry about alligators. I bet there's turtles and stuff in here. And there's plenty of stuff to keep Ruby's nose busy. She, <laughs> she keeps wanting to run off into the woods instead of staying on the trail. This is right in the middle of a huge medical complex. Back over that way is a hospital, medical center. And then there are all these various specialist offices around here. There's a town of Oak Brook, Somerville. Okay, you get a pretty good idea of what this trail looks like. There is water here. Some ducks and stuff. That's probably a drainage pond for this housing over here. And where there's water. There's a good chance you'll find an alligator. This trail doesn't go straight. It uh, kind of meanders around with all kinds of little turns and stuff in it. And on the inside of this park, 
Now, there's nothing that's totally undeveloped land, which is great. And quite overgrown with little oak trees and pine trees. And even got some, somebody built some bird habitat up there. But it does come quite close to these folks' backyard. You can see how it kind of winds its way. A little curve to the right, a little curve to the left, a little zigzag. Oh, Ruby can't make up her mind. Stay on the trail, get off in the woods. I wouldn't let her in these woods in the summertime. There's bound to be copperheads in here. I know we've got plenty of them around. And rattlesnakes timber rattlers I actually had a child down at the, one of the county parks that jumped off the trail out in the woods and got bit by one almost killed him and it was a pretty good sized snake so just because you're in the city with all this stuff around doesn't mean that Wildlife doesn't still live here. There's the people I let pass us. And then they stopped the rest. And got ahead of us again. And then they're stopping again. So this trail is a lot more crowded than the sawmill creek one. Well, as much moss as I'm seeing on this gravel, I don't think it gets much use. So there's the part that cuts back over to where we came into the trail. So if you go down there, I guess we've actually done about 0.3 miles. So then it does the whole big loop all the way back over to the main road and then back around where we're parked. They must have got these railroad ties when they did some remodeling on the railroad tracks. It's actually a nice trail if you want to just come out here and put on a few miles. You could walk around this thing and have a good idea of how far you've walked. Little beady baby pine trees. Those look like ponderosas. The three leaf pines. Let's see if I see any here. Yeah, there's three leaf. They grow straight up, and the pine needles have three needles in a bunch. That's why they call it three leaf. It's really a grass, from what I understand. Plenty of oak trees in here. Although I don't see much Spanish moss. A lot of dead fall on the ground. It's just wild. They just let it grow and let nature do its thing. There's a big one that finally bit the dust. All these lichens. I saw an interesting documentary on Netflix about lichens. And found out more about stuff like that than I ever knew was possible or cared about but it was interesting okay enough video of this place I think you've seen about everything there is to see in here there's the medical center peering through the trees so I'm gonna call this video quits okay this is actually about 50 yards down the street from where I was actually parked and this is the official parking spot there's the main entrance to the to the trail over there that trail's fine for walking I wouldn't want to run on it this is just a little parking area it's got a couple picnic tables trash cans Somerville's finest probably doing paperwork I'm not gonna film him he might get mad but this is actually where you're supposed to come park so 
I changed the setting in the GPS. Added this parking spot to my favorite instead of down the street on the side. Although uh, there's no grass there, so people park there all the time. There is litter here, which is a shame. All right, this really is the end of the the video. All these medical facilities, there's a fair amount of parking or traffic around here. Lots of woods, lots of green space in between all these buildings. Okay, that's it.